Hi, this is Igor. If you're used to my Resolve tutorials, this one is going to be a little different. I have started a small software company called Metafied, and I'm going to show you one of the two DaVinci Resolve apps that Metafied has released. This app is called the At Button, and it's available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux, and it's compatible with Resolve version 12 and above. Let's launch the At Button by pressing the Windows key, typing the at button. The at button does a very simple task. Every time you press the button, it will find the most recent DaVinci Resolve gallery still and turn it into ASCII art. ASCII art? Yeah, you heard right. It's just a joke. This, this app is a joke. It does create ASCII art versions of your still images, but it's not really useful unless you want to play a joke on your client who is asking you to email a still frame. Let me show you how it works. First time you launch the Add button, you have to go to the settings and tell it where the DaVinci gallery is. You can browse to the gallery. Now, on any DaVinci Resolve system, you can have multiple galleries. If you're configured that way, perhaps it might be better for you to hit Auto Scan. After pressing Auto Scan, it found my gallery on the D drive. I only have one, and we are ready to go. Let's click on Rip Kirby. Rip Kirby is a classic American comic strip that's kind of forgotten lately, but it's a really excellent old comic strip. We'll grab a still. I will switch to the At button. Go back to the Button tab and click the button. There's our ASCII art of Rip Kirby. Now, it's a little small. This default size is set to kind of fit into email width of a smartphone. But let's double this and see what happens. 160 characters per line. Capture that. Oh, now it looks a lot better. In the settings, we can reverse, which will do an inverse white letters on black. You might have noticed that RIP looked a little stretched out, and that's because of the proportions of the font. The easiest way to fix that is to put up a true circle on the screen and capture that. Grab still. And in the Add button, let's go to the Settings tab. I will reset all the parameters and adjust the aspect ratio correction to 0 0.5. 0 0.6 is the default value. 0 0.5 kind of works for my font here. Let's capture this circle. And as you can see, it looks pretty good. Whereas with the original settings, it would have looked stretched out. Great, so now we know 0 0.5 works well. We'll dial that back in. Once you dial in your parameters, you can save them so they'll be available for the next time. And let me show you how to email this. Let's grab a still here, switch to the at button. Let's make it a little finer, maybe 120 characters per line. And we can copy this text because essentially it's just a text, right? We'll go to my email. I will press Control V to paste this. This doesn't look right at all, and that's because the default font is usually variable width font. We have to switch that to fixed width. Once we have that, everything falls back in place. If you'd like to try the at button, it's available as a free download at metafied.com. 